Do you guys remember that day? I remember that day because I, um, it was a really strange day. It was warm enough outside. So you guys went to, well, James, you went to junior high school. You went to Ryan, right? Mm-hmm. 216. Now our cafeteria was in the basement. And if it was nice out, they'll, they'll let us go outside. I remember that day was really sunny. Everybody was inside. That was the, one of the most packed days in the cafeteria that I remember from that time. Mm. and uh it was still relatively warm out so it was kind of confusing why they didn't they didn't let us out there were a couple of announcements throughout the day me just being a little dumb kid that didn't pay attention to anything i was just like oh this is strange but whatever and i remember walking into gym class and there were only like 10 kids in class for my gym period i think there were a maximum of three classes during that gym period there's only 10 people in the class. <laughs> that was really weird for me, man. Of course, I didn't find out until, until afterwards when I got home. My uncle David, who now lives in Florida, um, he came over that day and he, I've never seen him so distraught before. He was just, if you guys remember on the news, they just kept replaying the footage over and over. It was like on a loop. He was telling me about like, he knows people. He has friends that work there. It was, it was a, pretty scary time i remember uncle david said he almost took a job at the twin towers oh snap um yeah so for me it was a little i remember it differently i only remember to be honest i think i was in like social social studies class and then and then obviously there was the announcements and stuff and then i just went home like my mom picked me up i think i left early from school just went home Oh, your mom actually picked you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's like, oh, get out of school. You know, shit's going down. Get out of school. Come home. Woo, going home early. And then, and then, TV wasn't the same, though. In junior high school, when that happened, I was in class, and you know, everybody started going home. I was like, what is going on? Like, why is nobody picking me up? Lucky you, James. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually usually Asian parents are. Um, eh, it's okay. Not a big kids, deal. Kids are safe in school. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're sick? Get out of here. You're still going to school. If I'm sick, I'm like, Dad, I'm sick. He's like, all right, you're not going to school. What? Yeah, I don't think I missed much days of school when I was young from sick. Like, nope, you're going. Nope, no excuses. I tricked my dad a couple of times saying that <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and even in school, I would I would go to the nurse's office. I don't feel well, and I'll go home. And I'm at home I'm like, yay! <laughs> what? I I've never done that before. I'm scared for how Nicholas is going to turn out. <laughs> Anything like you, we are in trouble. Man, I wish I used that when I was in elementary school. Like my stomach hurts. But your parents, your parents are not her parents. Your parents would be like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're going anyway. Yeah. They have a bathroom. They have a toilet there. You're going. <laughs> my dad, I think he knew that I didn't like going to school. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he knew. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to ask him tomorrow when we go out for lunch. Yeah, ask him. I'll ask him too. <laughs> like, did you know that I just didn't like going to school? <laughs> or was I that good? <laughs> Your dad was that good. Your dad was prepping you for two truths one lie since you were young. <laughs> I also you. remember lying to my mom. Like, mom, tomorrow's <laughs> a national holiday. <laughs> She what? You? She did not believe me. She was like, "Then how come your sister doesn't have off?" <laughs> uh, how did you? How did you explain that one? I was like, "Oh, never mind." <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> take back. I take that back. <laughs> Can I tell my BCD story now? Sure. <laughs> BCD. Yeah, yeah. Tell Go ahead. your BCD story. So today. Uh, Annie and I went on date night. 
first nice. date night of 2020, we decided to go to BCD Tofu House on Northern Boulevard in Queens. I really like this place. I, I enjoy it a lot, especially during the winter time when it's a little bit cold. Today was a good day, but when it's cold out and then you just go, you order, you know, soon tofu for me because I'm vegetarian. Oh man, that just hits the spot. Is that how yes. you say it? Sundubu, yes, not sun tofu. <laughs> well, I'm reading off the menu, James. <laughs> oh, really? That's what, that's what they have? Yes, yeah, sun tofu. It's not like I'm reading it and then, you know, it spells A V I D and I'm like, oh, you know? <laughs> and seriously, when I order that sun tofu, I eat that avidly. Oh, man, hey. I devour it. So, um, I ordered it and then the lady asked me that this question, that moment of truth. And you know what question that is. That question is, do you want mild, spicy, very spicy? <laughs> she looks at me. I look back at her and then I go, yeah, I'll go with the spicy. <laughs> and I was just like, are you sure? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm sure. And after I ordered it and she left, I go, this is either going to be the best decision of my evening or I'll be regretting it the next couple of times I use the restroom. <laughs> it was so spicy. <laughs> oh, man. When I first put that, that first spoonful into my mouth, I was like, ah. ah. It was really spicy. In the middle of, of eating, I told Annie, I said, I got to go out for a walk. And I actually walked around the block <laughs> just to get some fresh air. Yeah, because the broth is so hot and then you got the spicy and we have that two together, you just, it's just like fire in your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a good combination. I've developed a new appreciation for like tasting and smelling stuff. So I was just telling Annie, you know, before I would just make coffee, instant coffee in the mornings, and then I would just drink it because I feel like I need coffee to, to start my day. But now I actually get the coffee, I put my nose to it, and I'm like, uh, and I smell it. You know, I try to like really get the flavors, but I just smell coffee, man. Even subconsciously, I just go, and then I, I just go, oh, it smells like coffee bean. <laughs> coffee bean with 15% sugar and 20% milk. Yeah, with, with, the, with the hint of milk. I'm getting a little milk in there. You get that milk? Coffee connoisseurs are kind of similar to, like, wine tasting because... They have yeah. certain acidity and like darkness yes. and like light roast and all that. Yeah. James, what was that uh, Indonesian coffee? You remember? I think it starts with the L. Was it like Lapa? I don't remember, but I have it. Give me a second. So all you need to know about this is that it's animal poop. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's that uh, rat looking thing and then the poop becomes like, the poop becomes like coffee. Is it like a Ludlow? Lud? No, that's a Pokemon. Never mind. What is it? Um, so I don't think this is the one that... Lafrac or something? It's not Lafrac. But think Lefrac if, you guys, if anyone's interested, this coffee is banging. What is it called? Las Harum. Yeah, it sounds Spanish. <laughs> las. <laughs> Why would Indonesia use las? Luwak. It's called luwak. Ooh, oh, yes. yes. Luwak. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it's his actual poop. Yeah. Is it? That's made into coffee. I, I mm. believe so. I forgot. We went on the tour. No. We went on the tour and I forgot already. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that is poop. They eat the bean, and then, and then the bean and their stomach it gets digest, and then the part of the bean comes back out with this poop, and then they take the bean from there. Is no. that is that what it is? 
Damn, we, we need we need to pay attention when we. <laughs> we I wonder who. Sorry, what was it called it, again? Who started that? Like Luwak, hmm. L U W A K. Somebody started it. Like, let me just take this animal's poop and make it into coffee. Come on, this is not your first experience with with the human kind, man. We are savages. We feed stuff to animals first, and then they're like, oh. I, their their poop smells so good. Let's use that <laughs> and make coffee. <laughs> Super acidic. Let's go. All right. So let me give you guys the definition. All right. Educate Lu- us, please. All right. So this is uh, Kopi Luwak. Anyway, Kopi Luwak is a coffee that consists of partially digest coffee cherries, which have been eaten and defecated by the Asian palm civet oh uh, okay that's the animal name yeah so it's eaten so it is poop. Partial- Def- defecation is poop yeah but yeah but so it's partially digested so it's not we're just not we're taking the partially digested coffee cherry it still comes out of his ass though <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's not complete poop Okay, James. Remember last week we were talking about a serious hypothetical. If you were to lose your sense of smell or or taste, would you eat poop? And then you go, no, because you can still smell it. I'm going to give you some Luwak luwak poop. (laughs) And then you can let me know how it tastes. When we're there, you know how we didn't really see that many of those? They processed everything somewhere else. You think that there's some shady stuff going on? Yeah, it's a possibility. It's I mean, possible. Even, I mean, even those mountain tours, mountain tours were with uh, what was it mafia, Indonesia mafia? Mm-hmm. Maybe they don't even uh, use luwak. And it's just, it's just, it's just a label on a label on a on a thing on a package. You're they drinking. just use regular coffee bean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're using human poop. That's sprinkle what they're using. Some, sprinkle some special uh, scent yeah. in there. No, they feed it to humans, and humans poop it out. It's human poop, dude. Nice. That's that's even more unethical. Is it? Yeah, you can't you can't put humans in a cage and. No. <laughs> just feed humans the the coffee beans. You don't yeah. have to put them in a cage. Feed, feed yourself and then go looking in your own poop. Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> 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 He's thinking so hard about it. Oh, I also read that um, in Bali or Indonesia, you have to be careful of what meat you eat on the street or at restaurants because um, some of them use dog meat. Yeah, because there's so many wild dogs there, and yeah. Yeah, well, we're Asian, so it's okay. They'll say it's chicken or beef or something. Wow, that's crazy. Or you could be like me, ask for vegetarian option. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Well, all the food tasted good. Oh, actually, there was this one place. Jay, what was it called? Jay's Villa. I got ducked there, and that was the worst duck I ever had. It's because it was oh. really dog. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was dog, and it's been in their fridge for like months. And the food and the drinks were not good there. Nope. And oh. dude, that was a day after we climbed uh, Mount Batur, so we were exhausted. We were tired. We got back to our, our villa. We just wanted to chill out, grab some food, and they serviced that. Yo, I was not happy that night, dude. Oh, that was at the villa? Yeah, yeah at the villa. The restaurant at the villa. Yeah, yeah. so we, we we just came back. What was that, an hour, two-hour drive yeah. from the mountain? And then we're going back to the villa, and then we come to that restaurant. Oh. Would you have wanted to stay in Ubud with Winardian and company? 
instead that night? No. I wanted to be at Jay's Villa with, you know, I, I rebooked a whole room there and, you know. And other reasons? My, all my friends are there. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, sure, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Was it a girl? Okay, so <laughs> that means yes. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. All right, guys. Signing off. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, we are still experimenting with some stuff. Um, just having fun. That's basically the point of this podcast. Um, we enjoy it. It gives us a chance to um, talk to each other, interact, you know, have a little bit of fun, be goofy. Uh, we're just happy that there are, you guys are there listening and supporting us too. So with that being said, if you want to support us, please uh, like and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and uh, what else are we on? <laughs> Did I say Spotify? Spotify. And Spotify. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, we have a Facebook page. Go on and like it when you get the chance. And we also have a WordPress blog. Come check us out. We are uh, pumping out a lot of new stuff, and we're excited to share with you guys. If you would like to su- su- support us, please check out our merch page. We have sweaters and t-shirts too. Yeah. Oh yes, we have hoodies and we have t-shirts. Yeah, guys, I don't know if the code is still gonna be live by then, but use code LAUNCH10 for a special 10% off. That's LAUNCH10, L-A-U-N-C-H-1. The code already ended. <laughs> don't forget stay ridiculous <laughs> we don't kill us a new code thank you guys have a good night stop recording